All right, so that did not go very well. Uh, I was feeling uh, a bit overconfident. I uh, brought up the C major server and it killed me. So I restarted my computer. All right, so that did not okay, cool. And that seems to be working now. I am going to once again post about it and then we will get going one of these days one of these days we'll get it working Audio issues forced me to restart back up now. So let's kind of start from the top. Not really from the top because I don't feel like doing that. I'm opening up. Okay. Cool. Okay, so in the last um, abortive stream, I was talking about how I got um, the this band limited impulse train working, and how I used the um, synthesis toolkit, which is. Let me give it one second. Bring it back my history right now yes and oops yes okay so um yeah that that has an implementation i want to explore um what i perhaps did wrong um and also in the last stream i tried to at least verify. Um, I thought I did it before, but I guess I just wasn't really listening. I tried to verify that um, I had uh, correctly created this uh, band limited impulse train by um, filtering it um, and creating a square wave with it. This was a different value before I was like, and that didn't really work out the way I expected. So let's just concentrate on the fact that it does do some kind of impulse trainy thing and um because it does sound like something right and it sounds like you'll see what it sounds like maybe i can get activity monitor to close come on there we go Let's change this frequency. Let's this does right. Okay, we've got the C major plugin. Fantastic. We've got and. Yeah, boop. So right, we turn it up. As you can see, we hear uh, some kind of oscillator-ish thing. Cool. Um, if, and if you slow it down a lot, you can really get the So that's the pretty much the thing we were looking for. So let's turn that effectively mute that. Actually, let's, let's properly mute it just in case. 
And let's talk about the two different implementations. So, oh, need to do a little more off screen prep that I neglected to do. And the way I want to do this is actually refactor the two um, approaches or the two implementations. So, we can kind of clearly see um, how the uh, equation is, is factored a little differently between the two. Oh, and I can see that that's very, it's not very legible. Okay. Here we go. Right. So let's, let's, let's go back and look at what I was doing, um, which was from the Stilson and Smith paper, right? I'm also going to, see. Yeah, it's probably a little better. So what we were listening to was the SDK implementation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inline my, as you can see, um, what I do is I have, I'm very literal with the implementation that's shown in that paper where I have a separate calculating um, the function and then calculating separately with a different function called the sync for purposes of comparison. Let's inline that. Da, 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 da. And it might allow us to do some simplifications as well. Actually, you know, first thing I should do is to show you that this sounds somewhat the same. There are uh, actual differences and I'll get into that in a second between what I've done Let's see. Yeah, so. As you can see, it definitely sounds different. Um, oops, did not mean to actually close that. Also, the old the old computer is uh, seizing up again, so I'm going to take a quick look at that. Take a look at the old activity monitor. Let's see what's happening. Nothing. Okay. It's just getting a little tired. Okay. Well, whatever. We will forge ahead. So, um, you can see that this pretty much works correctly. Let's inline this call so we can see the way that the SDK implementation is a little bit different. So, um, yes. Right, so uh, this is the checking. Oh yeah, and that's actually another difference that I, um, there's a few differences that I already um, just went ahead and implemented that actually that might be the reason that um, what I was doing wasn't correct. Um, in the this McGill paper, which I'm not sure if I have, no, I don't have the link for it right here. Right, um, it talked about how when you're calculating the sink, um, if it is, um, approaching, uh, zero, uh, you should, instead of, um, doing the sync calculation, uh, do a, do an alter alternative one that uses cosine instead of sine. Um, the SDK implementation simplifies this greatly by simply returning one. So, um, we get the denominator first, and then we make sure if it would cause a problem. I still haven't looked up if C major has like a float epsilon uh, function. But anyway, so if it is uh, smaller than whatever, the, the epsilon, we're just going to return 
Well, previously it's return one because it's for the sync function. But here it would be just return MP. Right, because uh, calc sync, that was going to return one. So it's M over P uh, times one. Cool. Um, otherwise, we are going to Okay, here's another issue. You see, this is, I had to replace X here. Um, so, uh, return MP times the sync calculation, which is going to be sine of m p times phase. So I guess we should actually just let m p. Uh, I, I don't typically kind of snake case stuff equals mp times phase. Cool. Right, so return sine times mp into phase divided by the denominator. Cool, so we should be able to just comment this out. Okay, right, so this is the sync function, just deconstruct, uh, broken up a bit so we can check. And actually what I'm realizing now is I think that maybe what, what I was breaking was I was not, you know, I'm actually, never mind, I was going to make a, uh, an assumption, a guess that really wasn't necessary. Let's just make sure that this kind of sounds same-ish before we go to doing a little refactoring on the other one to kind of take a look at how they're different. One thing I definitely did change as well, right, as you'll notice in here, um, the equation is actually, you know, uh, for the sink is sine pi of x, right? Um, where um, x would be uh, a, you know a phase accumulator um, going from zero to one, but following what is done in the SDK implementation, uh, what I did instead was I have uh, the phase go up to pi instead because then I'm assuming they did this because you can avoid the um, you can avoid the, uh, you basically get that pi constant out of the calculation and avoid a, a, um, mul a multiply, a multiply, a multiplication function when you don't really need one. And I've been showing a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Wow. I just realized I had the, uh, thing up, which is fine. Done a little bit of refactoring. As I was saying earlier, um, so here we have the sync function inlined into this tick function to make a comparison between these two more straightforward. And I want to validate what I've done.
Yes. Okay, cool. That still is correct. Now, let's do a little extra refactoring here because um, this doesn't need to be written exactly like this. So, yeah, it's actually a little confusing. So, right, so now um, this calculation is we get the denominator which is a sine over phase in this case. And then this is my invention for some reason I did this. So let's actually, let's first of all, let's flip this logic. Well, let's first verify that. Let's get us in a kind of testing situation. And I, of course, quit live. <laughs> yeah, you're going to start up soon. I'm sure it'll start up eventually. You know, while this is, <laughs> wow, while this is uh, taking its sweet time. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Here I am talking smack. Oh, that is the wrong plugin. Here I am talking smack and it's already open. Okay. Let's open up the C major. Okay, no, I need the finder because that's, well, that's where it was. Reveal the finder. Yes. So, yep, that is our band limited impulse train. So the first thing is, let's um, flip the logic here, just so it's, uh, yeah, if, oh, also, yeah, these are kind of arbitrary, like if number gets small, uh, right, so if denominator is less than, Point zero zero one, and the reason I'm just doing this is, I know in previous streams, I talked about how like um, I don't feel qualified to like explain exactly the DSP, and that it's I, I kind of just want to focus on being practical and implementing. There is an extent to which, though, I want to kind of, at least at the implementation level, understand why one thing works and the other doesn't before uh, moving on to the next step. Uh, and I think that's largely due to a concern with um, if le on a later step, if I kind of lose the way or something doesn't work, I don't want to be in a situation where um, I really have no idea what to do. Um, so this is now pretty much an exact rewrite. Uh, let's see, I'm going to zoom that, are you going to, there we go, okay, so, oh, no, that's the set frequency, oh, no, I just, um, the actual tick is in, here we go, right, so, we get the denominator, check if it's less than or equal to the epsilon. Um, if it is, um, the temp variable is, which is gonna be your output is one, otherwise do the uh, sync, sync-ish calculation. Um, yeah, so that's essentially what I've done here. And I guess it should be, first of all, I know I'm changing multiple things at once, but you know what? 
Okay, so now, do we still have? Okay, it's muted. Cool, yes. Oh, yeah, we have an oscillator still. Awesome. Now let's, we actually don't need this temp. All right, we could write it a lot more concisely with um without losing any oops i think without losing any um cool and let's see what that's like yep we still have an oscillator fantastic Lovely stuff. Um, yeah, so now we can um, compare the two and try to understand what's going on. So the um, one thing that uh, is pretty, um, I guess, important is that you'll notice here um, as an additional scale factor of P divided by M applied to normalize the output. So that's the main reason that these two implementations are different. Um, I'm just going to take it on faith that, wait a second, right? Oh yeah, we have the denominator here. You know what, I'm just gonna, well actually I am mean, gonna use let. That's actually a good idea. One thing I want to do later is, um, you know, be able to um, use an arbitrary uh, float type. Anyway, so um, here the denominator is, first of all, as you notice, we have to multiply the phase by M over P. Um, so I suppose it makes sense that applying the scale factor would then just eliminate the M over P. And yeah. I don't know where I'm going with, with that actually. Um, besides like, cool, I suppose that's how a <laughs> multiplication works. Um, but um, that also is, I think the source of difference between, there is a slight difference if you look at these in a meter um, or on an oscilloscope or whatever. Uh, and if you listen to them, they do sound slightly different. And I believe this is because um, this is normalized. Um, and I'm almost tempted to see if, like, what if, you know what I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? See, look, blit square. How do they, how do they, how do they make a square wave with blit? Blit square. Let's see. So we've got. Oh, let me see. Interesting. Well, whatever. Um, what's next? I'm gonna use the SDK one. Um, actually, one thing I wanted to see now that we've got things kind of squared away if what happens if we use the right because there is this right mcgill paper that suggests that you do do we want to do that Well, I mean, you know what? No, I actually don't want to do that. And I'm going to blow this up a bunch because as you can see, um, the insight that is applied um, 
in this simplification. I think they mentioned this specifically. Oh, oh. Let's see. Avoid a divide by zero at the sink peak, which has a limiting value of one. Yeah, I suppose it's saying the same thing here, right? Um, that you could read this as, oh, when it's, well, I originally read this as when it's approaching zero, you should just use this um, calculation instead. Um, but you mentioned here, it's basic, it's one for x equals zero, right? So just use one. Um, that might be why it didn't work for me last time. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> Um, do I want to have the separate, I feel the urge to clean up. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Cool. So we've got these two different, um, implementations. I'm also going to clean up this. Okay. Cool. Well, now let's see. And I think that I'm, I think I'm going to do this just by, I'm not going to create a new patch and try to like reference this one. I'm just going to, I'm just going to hack through this one. Oh, so actually, yeah, that now is the, okay. So this is I'm actually not sure how much this matters or if what really matters is having an input stream. So let's try to build this effect should maybe be input stream, right? That has an input, it has an output, and we need to multiply hmm. you know I'm gonna think oh, cause I, I, I just want to I'm, I'm feeling a bit impatient so I'm actually going to um, Right, ideally, what we should really be doing here is um, creating a new processor, processor, graph, I don't know. Uh, if this works, then maybe that can be a little bit of a refactor that uh, uses uh, an impulse train. So the idea of an impulse train and this down sampler are not uh, coupled, but you know, for now, let's just hang out with this. So, uh, da, da, da. so for each of these, does it take SDK? Okay. Can we just do? See what happens. I mean, it's building. Also, this output gain should just be since this is actually connected to the. Actually, wait. Hmm. Let me think about this. 
And let's make sure that's nice and muted. Yeah, I mean, this is, right? Um, we'll get to the oversampling later. Multiply with a band limited impulse train. So, first thing. Oh, no, this. Well, let's. I'm just looking at this since this is now just like, right, the output of the. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, very important. That's. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have a big problem. So, um, see if we get anything in the meter. We do. I'm a little scared. Mm. Actually, um, okay. Let's let's say this is low fi effect, right? So three, four. Let's not and let's um Okay. Oh, wait a second. Whoa, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> what, what are you doing? No, oh, that's what. Huh. Well. So, uh. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. So uh, that's wonderful. That works. Okay. Let's see what happens if we use the implementation that I... Oh, sorry about that. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I, well, yeah, of course that doesn't work because I don't multiply, I don't actually do the same thing at all. So, okay. Okay. Huh. Well, they definitely sound different. Uh, I'm not sure uh, what is uh, quote unquote correct. I guess the SDK one is cool because it seems to be acting more as just a low pass filter, right?
Huh. You know what I'm interested in doing. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Uh, let's see, what uh, frequency did I have this? 14. 14,000-ish, right, okay, and which, it's a really low one, I forgot, okay, Eight thousand. Let's compare it at around eight. Okay, right. Um, well, let's compare the two. Or the uh, obviously, I have no idea what algorithm is actually being used here, but this is more just to kind of get a general vibe, you know. We have a we have a little down sampler. Hooray. You know, I actually, I like that better. Okay. But this is only, this isn't totally job done, right? Um, part of this was, um, well, a, a few things. One, it's still only a mono, which is a thing that, you know, is I'm sure better to deal with when we're doing the larger refactor of IE, taking the concept, taking the, uh, a, comp an, a compositional approach to making this a uh, resampler instead of just doing a blit and being like, cool, let's just uh, slap an input in there and call it done. So we can do some upsampling. So. Nimble strain limited. To, okay. Interesting. Well, um, let's open up that good old C major documentation. Because oversampling should be is 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 a uh, maybe it's even in like getting started or something like that. Mm. That is kind of just baked into the language. Tools? No, not tools. Mm, no, not that. Strength of standard library. 
frequency. Nope. Um, over. Ah. Wait, I, I know I just saw, I just scanned past the answer, uh, but I'm just wanting to get more context. Oh, it, you just, you just do that? Huh. Okay. So are you telling me? that I could just that would oversample it three times. I'm going to go ahead and assume that if it, oh, oh, clock ratio must be a power of two. Fine. That's fair enough. So let's see what happens when we don't oversample. Huh. Okay. Let's see what happens when we oversample less. Oh, it definitely sounds a lot better. Cool. And now that we have the oversampling, let's see. Oh yeah, that just doesn't sound right. Yeah, that's how I expect it to sound. This sounds so different now that I want to double check. I'd like to double check if I've actually done the SDK implementation correctly. So let's take a look at it again. So. Oh, we should do this later as well. We could use fast sign oscillators. Awesome. Um, so, I mean, it could also be that for whatever reason, normalizing it, you know, I'm not going to speculate. Um, I just want to make sure that I have done the SDK. So denominator equals sign of phase, awesome. If we're close to our, the limit, just return one, otherwise return sign times n times phase divided by m times the denominator. Yeah, that's it. I wonder what this last frame stuff is for. I'm sure that's important. <laughs> Why is it important? I do not know. 
interesting. Um, now, I wonder if which is three times over sampling and an impulse train limited. So we're not quite doing this, right? Because we're doing the oversampling and then we've created an impulse train, right? But our impulse train is having its um, harmonics calculated Oh, okay. No, I think that this means an impulse train limited to two times the original Nyquist. In other words, the impulse train. Actually, I'm not sure if he means the harmonics or the fundamental of the impulse train. Hmm. Interesting. What would that even mean? Uh, because right, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't seem to be a problem if uh, the impulse train is um above the original limited to two times the original. Well, I guess two times the original Nyquist is the sample rate, right? So what if we What happens if we go up to 48? So now, um, oh no, I guess it's, yeah, he must mean the sig um, signal smith. I'm afraid to pronounce his name because <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Um, uh, first of all, does this, oh, interesting. I wonder why this doesn't work. Interesting. Well, annoying, but interesting. Let's go back down to 44.1. Okay, so we've identified our first problem. Does not work. Does it work at? No. Oh. You know, maybe. Huh. Uh oh. Maybe I'll try this later after my, um, <laughs> so I'm just trying to, there we go. I think that maybe uh, the, the up sampling is making my computer very sad. Could it be as simple as that, maybe. I don't know. Oh, and now it's, you know, there could be a bunch of different reasons for that. Um, let's just assume that we are at a uh, good enough place with it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, because if you notice, I'm not doing any kind of, um, right, typically when you change sample rate, you should do stuff like um, recalculate. Oh, what is going <laughs> so weird um but i think it might just be because my system is under stress who knows however that's very cool this works and it's really great that you can just over sample by 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 that that, that over samples it that's very cool 
Let's try and eliminate the two times the original length. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, I guess this is what I mean in terms of being practical. It sounds it sounds cool. Uh, sounds like what we were expecting, and I might follow up later to build a real understanding of um, what's being what's being uh, proposed there. But what I want to do first. I mean, and also, um, if you'll notice, uh, that I think that is a public repository, so it's ugly, um, but it is public. So let's figure out, I wonder if I could just do So here, um, if I could just multiply, like, is there a, uh, I know I just trailed off. Oh yeah, this needs a main, right? Yes. I'm going to do a little bit of copy pasta. Could I simply So I suppose I would have to declare Right. And then what I'd like to know is how I could, is it what they say about process or composition in here? Or do I need a different graph? Because what I'd like to do is is just you know multiply for each. No, I'm, I think I'm thinking about this the wrong way. Can you multiply two signals in a graph? I don't think so. Looking at the stuff about processor composition. Here we go. In a processor, okay. Oh. 
So it's going to be something think right so we want both of them to advance and what we want to do oh interesting Could we do out um, in times split dot out? Let's see. Oh, and we need to open line. While we're doing that, oh, this is probably going to get weird if I'm going to change this again to be just a generator. Oh yeah, we also need to, well, I forget whether it'll yell at me if it's not connected. I think it might yell at me if he sees any. Okay. Oh, okay, cannot find symbol. Oh, yeah, that's, wait, ah. So node ah. and now To kind of so what if I did this? Is this going to work? No. Input. Oh, event. Let me quick see how So what is it mad about? If I'm expecting identifier. I am doing something silly. Let's just see, let's just, let's just 
that will do nothing, of course. So I don't think it will. Yes, that makes sense. Um, well, there could be several things wrong here. But that is definitely not working. Okay. Um, you know, one thing that we could do is to make sure that just to get some basic, basic facts on the ground. Okay, cool. Right. So just unhooking this uh, impulse train, right? Why am I not hearing that? Oh my goodness, is something deeply wrong with my audio again? No, well, something's deeply wrong in the in the sense that I can't hear it. Oh, now I can hear it again. Uh, okay, sure, whatever. But um, I'm so confused. There's a, I have a huge delay with my own audio. Uh, Okay, sure, whatever. Um, so this works. Um, this does not work. Why does it not work? That is a fantastic question. I don't know. Um, I mean, because like, look, even if we... Like, let's do the simplest thing. Let's get rid of this frequency parameter, right? Because in order to test whether or not this works or not, we don't really need that. Um, we can just hard we can just set it to that. So let's um, Let's go back to the old one, uh, to the one that was working, right? Just to have a baseline. Of course, I could have just left the kit stashed, but but without the ISO, right? What am I doing wrong? I mean, maybe this is, wait, that actually is, is the frequency not initial? Oh, I see, I think. Um, I, So there are some things that need to get called regardless of like none of this actually runs if we don't get a frequency event. So I bet you, right, if I were to just right stash all that. And yeah, <laughs> I could see that you can hear that. And hopefully it doesn't sound too offensive, right? Um, and then, <laughs> I wonder if it's the oversampling. 
I think it might be the oversampling. No, because it was sounding normal before. Hmm. Oh, and it closed live again. I can't wait to hear that back. Once again, getting that C major plug-in going, and then, oh, back to the file, back to revealing it. All right, so, oh yeah. Let's put a little sample in there. Okay, yeah. Um, and I'll hear that back at some point. So the upsampling had nothing to do with it. So my question is, how do we do this like one time event? How do you initialize? Let's see. Oh. Oh, okay. So at the start of the main function, right? So let's first of all, you know, let's be hacky. And no, not there. Here we go. Right, frequency. Uh, right, so now if we get rid of the parameter event. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. Should put little I still don't like that. Oh. Um can I do that? Is that is does that do that thing? Frequency function cannot be called from user code. Why oh, because it's an event. I see. Float handle frequency change or uh, no that's I don't know set up sure so 
So whenever frequency event lands, we call setup, but also we call setup the first time we call this. And not all of, oh, yeah, because it's a void function, so it doesn't need to do that. Nice. So, okay, so now, awesome. Yeah, that's um, going to sound like something. Oh, it's not in now. And I guess I'll just <laughs> wait for it to catch up with myself. Okay, well that's a that's a very important um, realization there. <laughs> I'm hearing the audio back now. And assuming at some point. Yes. Okay. Now I'm hearing it um, with the uh, the down sampling applied to it. So everything is good. We can try this again. Not that. Um, oh, wait, did I do all of this? I did. Okay, this is going to be annoying. Get stash. Let's see what kind of Okay, here we go. Um, and okay, only one conflict. So we've got this. So maybe this will just work, right? Because previously we tried this, we got no output, but that was because um, nothing was getting calculated. Uh, because w w I hadn't hooked up the event. Um, oh. So. Um, this should just work. I mean, the output's audio. Um, and you're going to find out whether it works before I do because of whatever is going on with my round trip audio. So I hope it sounds uh, nice, I guess. I'm just gonna keep playing it and then at some point it'll hit me. Oh, well, okay. Just wasted a bunch of time because all you're going to hear, all you just heard, I'm sure all I'm about to hear is the, oh, and in case you fast forwarded here, um, it's, there's a really bad time delay between my audio with live that's going into black hole um, and the audio that I'm monitoring. I don't, what if I accidentally put a, wait a second. Wait one. I'm monitoring the desktop. Maybe if I, I'm gonna turn it monitoring off for a second. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Well, I broke something. Oh, okay. I switched it, and now I can hear again in real time. Okay, cool. I should have done that earlier. So, uh, but however, this does not work. So, uh oh, why does that not work? Uh... Hmm, maybe. 
because I have not completely. Oop. Right, because this is just an oscillate right now. Oh, hey, okay. Oh, and it's still, oh, hey. Fantastic, so um, we do now have this implemented in a little bit nicer way, i.e. we have our oscillator, the impulse train, and we have this really simple function where we just multiply the input to the output and We advance the impulse train that we own. So before I end, I want to see if I can get uh, the parameter control working. Hmm. Which might be tricky actually, right? Because I need specifically to, I can't just set the frequency, right? I actually need to, I mean, on, you know, one extremely hacky and expensive way to do it, right, would be to just run this every loop. That's not really acceptable. So how do I access that event from, this might end with me going to Discord and asking. But, oh, 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 hey. So, um, oh, no, this wasn't the right place. Or is it? just want to I mean I wonder if I can just like oh yeah I already have that copy pasted and then what is it you call it just event and now if I try to can I do this? Can I connect events? I should probably need to connect the event, right? Let's see. Da -da -da -da. I am uh, well let's see what the compiler says no it does not like that well what if I did that 
Yeah, but something about this feels wrong. Like it's going to extremely not work. Yeah, that's... Oh! Oh, okay. Nice. So could I... You know, what's interesting to me... Well, let's see how this initializes. Oh, yes, that is. Now, the interesting thing is a problem we uh, I, s I would say that we have here is unless I can access, can I access the event dot like, let's see, could I do like frequency dot max no cannot do that basically I'm like well I could set it up for a certain frequency events where are the events I guess this is more. I'll have to think about this, right? Because basically I would like to, uh, since I define the values, you know, the minimum and maximum here, I would like to just have this initialized to that, but I don't think I'm allowed to do that. So, but you know what, maybe the solution here is partially like, yeah, let's just leave. I think what's going to happen is, right, let's just do that. Oops. No, that's correct. And then it's actually, actually, well, in order to understand that this is actually working. Because I think what's going to happen is that when it makes its parameter, uh, when it makes this event connection, right, it then uh, causes the, I wonder if the debugger works for this. No, it does not have, cannot set breakpoint. That'd probably be a nightmare. Anyway. So, <coughs> we have, I guess I actually should unload and reload this since we want to like understand what it does on initialization. Reveal and find it. So um, I'm assuming it's going to be the pro the process is going to be initialized at 441, and we'll know whether I did that correctly because otherwise it's going to be very aliasy, right? So let's see how it sounds.
Hmm. Okay, so. Okay, so actually, it does initialize to whatever is. I wonder if I can use a uh, like uh, but that's still not very flexible because if some other client wants to overwrite this initial value, there's no real way to do it. Oh, oh yes, I have to do the and let's unload and reload. Right, and now, oh yeah, uh-oh, oh, there you go. Mm. Okay, uh, Oh, I just need to, whatever. Git, git commit. So, hmm. Take a look at this documentation again. This might be something to ask on the Discord. Let's see. Think about this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to. Oh, whatever. So, um, the next time. <laughs> next time. Fine. Um, yeah, let's do, let's write the. Let's write the Discord uh, message right now, because that'll involve um, writing a little uh, very basic sample case, right? So, oh yeah, so. Right. 
let's just write the code first and then very simple you know Delete all this stuff. Oh. Oh, this is the behavior of the. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this actually here and probably have to suffer more. Uh... So ignore those for now. Oh, wait. Oh, it's being loop. There we go. Hi all. Question about event handling and process event declaration and handling and processing. Is it possible to given a declared event with attributes like in max and in it access access those attributes in in the processor I'd like to do this in order to make sure that my processor calls its setup function using the using whatever value is set as the events in its val. Cool, and I will send that later. Um, but what? Oh, no, I do not want to create a new C major patch. Would an example patch help? Yes, I trust the authors. Um. That did not help. Uh, are the Perkle filters in here? They are not. Okay, whatever. Um, this is huge. So I really don't want to look at that.
Uh, well, whatever. Um, this will be something that hopefully... Initialization. Um, figure out stereo. It'll probably be easier than um, my previous experience because of the kind of processing it's doing. I have a feeling that I'll be able to do. We'll we'll talk about then um, again how to do. I guess essentially templating. Um, and um, changing um, types, you know, so if you wanted to process as a 32 bit or a 64 bit float, although I think that part of, I think it ran really weird um, as a 64 bit float, so um, using 64 bit, uh, using doubles. So um, that might be interesting to take a look at. Figure out stereo, refactor, um, maybe we can mess around with filtering in order to get different flavors of um, the downsampling effect. Um, Looks like a C++. Like, what's the exported code on this like? I'll do that later because doing this, uh, I mean, the easy way of doing this for me is to open up the C major uh, patch runner, which will murder my audio, my mic audio again. I'm not going to do that. So, I hope um, I hope this was informative. I hope that this was this was helpful in some way. I'm really happy with the result i actually tried doing this um a long time ago in python and uh no actually i, I tried a c plus plus implementation as well and it just did i don't know what i was doing wrong because this felt really easy oh um does c major Yeah, so hope you're looking forward to that. Um, thanks a lot for uh, for joining me and surfing through uh, tech issues that um, I'm sure will be totally solved by the next time. Um, anyway, have a have a good night, uh, have a good week, and see you next time. Bye.